Howdy partners, it's your boy John here. Welcome back to Pokemon Moon, where last time we left off, we finally beat Kahuna Oliv Olivia, right? <laughs> anyway, I think it's time we finally get to leave Akala Island. Um, let me open up the map real quick. Let's see where we're supposed to head from here. Hano Grand Resort, yes, okay. There we go, okay. I always have trouble trying to open this thing. Alright, so where do we need to hit head? Um. Okay. Right over here. Okay. So I need to head back up north. Um. Probably, let, let's just use Charizard. Yeah, let's do that. Charizard. Can I fly there? No, I can't. Okay, we'll, we'll just head to Hia Hia City. No, right here. Right here. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> it beats walking the rest of the way back, huh? Thank you, Charizard. All right. And I'm going to go ahead, I guess, and take Tauros out and just ride there. Oh, how's the team? Oh, you know what? We should probably go heal up. Let's let's do that first. I guess we're not exactly getting off the island just yet. Um, thank you. Who, sh who should I put up front? I need to get some levels in for some of these guys. Alright, let me, uh, let's see here. I think... I think I want to put, uh, Pokey up front, because she's the lowest one on the team at the moment. We'll let her get some levels. Let's put Swagnamite up here. Actually, Mudwiser will be the next one. And I think I like the way that looks. Alright. Now, we can actually head to the next destination. Doros. I think it was this way. Alright. Can I actually hold this down the whole way there? I can. Okay. Hello. I live my life in search of pleasure. I wonder if I'd find something new to enjoy if I went through the island challenge once again. I don't care. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I felt like I had to sneeze. Well, this is fancy. Hello? I'm one of the bellhops. Ring the bell and I'll hop up to serve you. Was that supposed to be a pun? Okay. Hello? The touch of the Alola breeze feels like being wrapped in kindness. Wait, and feel it blow over you. I don't care. <laughs> Oh, you. So, you've come at last. Ah, but forget. Oh, this is a guy. Ah, but forgive me. I have yet to introduce myself. You may call me F Faba. Fabio. F Fabio. Okay, Fabio. I told you before that I would show you someplace astounding, right? Well, that was wondrous. That wonder place. What? Well, wondrous place is Aether Paradise. Let me tell you about Aether Paradise. Just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. It is an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the for the protecting of protection, you mean? English. <laughs> of course, I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I will prove to you that all I've told you is the absolute truth with the tour of Aether Paradise. You will come, won't you? No. <laughs> Well, children are often too frivolous and aimless to properly think through him. I mean, uh, they value their freedom, so... But the answer that I want to hear from you is a resounding yes. Now, let's hear it. I need an adult. <laughs> uh, okay. Fine. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Fine. Good, good. Then you'll come with me. 
Aether Paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too. Oh, even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. As a Kahuna, I look after all the trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Now that, not that I have only, not, what, what? not that I've got any, I've never even gotten married. Okay. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest ally is the Pokemon beside you. Are you coming too, Professor? I've got my own business to attend to. You go see the amazing tech that Aether's developing and tell me about it later, yeah? That's right. I'll see you on the next island. U Ula Ula Island. Okay. And let's meet up at Molly Garden. M Molly? Okay. I'm skipping through some of this. I, I didn't mean to. Though I guess we can come back any time we want to, huh? I, I really don't want to. Then let us enjoy our adventures upon that grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I mean to say the ferry. Okay. You're really trying to sell me on it, huh? Oh yeah, that's, that's a grand vessel. Can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether Paradise can float in the sea? I don't really care. It's all because the Pokemon are holding it up. What? I thought it was supposed to be a paradise for Pokemon, but you're making... Okay, whatever. Did you know that, John? Eh, really? Oh, fascinating. You, I could count on you to react. Oh, I can't wait to actually see inside Aether Paradise for myself. Look at that cold, dead smile. He's just like me. He's completely dead inside. Alright, fine. Aether Paradise. Well? Mm-hmm. This ha kind of has like a Bond villain-esque feel to it. <laughs> Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. Okay, what's going on over there? Aether Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all of the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, you, our teams work on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Right, because nothing says conservation like trapping wild animals inside of balls. That came out sounding weirder than I intended it to. Though you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within Aether Paradise. A jamming signal is broadcasting throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. Then how do you research them? Okay, whatever. Excuse me, Mr. Papa. Yes, excuse you. Oh, that was rude. What is the meaning of that form of an address? address? I have a title for a reason. Yes, Branch Manager Fala. Now I must go to speak with the President about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these children around, and then take them to meet the President as well. Right. Who's this? Welcome to Aether Paradise, John and Howe. My name is... Wick. Wick, Wick? Oh, okay. Wick, whatever. Nice to meet you. I'm not saying Alola. Wait, you know who we are? How'd you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island. And of course I heard how you helped protect that Pokemon there too, young Mr. Howe. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is up above us. Shall we zip right up there? I don't care. Alright, okay, what do we got? What is that? 
This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk if that they need it. Oh, that's adorable. John? Oh, no, wait, wait. Oh, that was her. You and Hal are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I don't really care. I suppose you must be around 11 then. Oh, yeah, how'd you know? Yeah. Yeah, I looked the. I took the first chance I had to join in the Island Challenge once I turned 11. Because someday I really want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he's way too strong. Yeah, no, nothing says responsibility like uh, giving children magical creatures that can destroy the planet. <sighs> Sometimes I just I just wonder about this universe. <laughs> how how lovely for you! Oh look look, she's just like me. She doesn't care. I suppose all children must yearn to take a journey of their own, choosing when they get to be about your age. What? Their own choosing when they get to, be about, get to be about your age. Though you're hardly just children anymore, trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. John, how? Would you too like to see the conservation area upstairs? I don't care. We'll zip right up. Oh, this was the place from the... Yeah, this was the place in the, in the start of the game. Aether Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokemon. For this reason, to use... The use of Pokeballs is strictly forbidden within the conservation area. Well, We keep Pokemon that have been tar targeted by Team Skull here. And we also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example. They are quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called Toxapex. I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my Pokedex. I, I, I don't care. Toxapex. Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. Yeah, my gramps always saying that nature's got its cruel, shot, cruel side, sure as it gives us blessings. But can the Aether Foundation really protect the other Pokemon that are, that are out there? Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans should try to affect that, can it? That's pretty amazing. The Aether Foundation seems awesome. Eh. But why'd you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President L L What's with these names? She should be here in the conservation area now. I, I, I don't really want to. Alright, how got anything to add? Well, there are even Pokemon that got done in by Team Skull, huh? Whatever. Hello? Sudowoodo Widow is a, protect a Pokemon that pretends to be a tree in order to protect itself. But wouldn't it be better to disguise itself as the kind of tree you actually see here in Alola? Huh, good point. They they made uh, the execute in this generation look like a tree, like like a palm tree, like like an actual like tall one. I, I don't know why I, that made me think of it, but it did. Wood. No, I'm good. If you'd like to meet the man, okay. Let's see. The map down there makes absolutely no sense. Where, where am I going? Um. This seems like a place you might be able to find some of those Zygarde crystals. Should I, I guess I should be looking for those, huh? Hello? Starmie is known as the mysterious Pokemon. It's really a star from the night sky. Uh, if it's really a... Uh, what? If it's really a star from the night sky appearing to us in a different form, then it's like a Pokemon is just using us humans and making us take care of it. Do you ever imagine things like that? No, you're weird. When Pokemon evolve, their appearance can change quite a lot. Some Pokemon can also change forms, which can change how they look and their stats. And then there are the regional variants, which are quite another thing altogether. Pokemon don't just change into regional variants like they might change forms. Okay. Alright, let's see. Who are these guys? 
PC boxes were first developed by a guy in the Kanto region called Bill. Apparently he's a real Pokemon maniac. Don't care? Imagine using the same Pokemon in your boxes and battle again after hundreds of years. It's kind of like... It's like a kind of time machine. What? Makes absolutely no sense. Alright, we're back at the center. Okay, let me go see if I can find what's her name. I've already forgotten. Look for somebody important. That's obviously not you. Um... Well, that was pointless. Is there something in there? Oh, I thought I saw something moving. I guess this is her? My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Oh, that's... Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Ah! Huh? You must be John and Hal. Welcome to the Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation's own private island. I am the president of the Foundation, but please just call me Lu Lusami Lusamine. Okay, I I'm, I'm not going to call you that because I can't pronounce it. Lusa. Okay, whatever. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons or even for profit. And that is why I am here. I will be like a mother to all those poor Pokemon and shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds far from the Alola region are worthy of my love. I don't care. Uh-huh. I don't know how you do all this. You're, like, not even that much older than us. I'm already over... Okay, well. You just made it awkward. Wait, what? Oh, you. The right style does wonders, you know, and how your style is a bit wanting. <laughs> uh, I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick out a smashing outfit. But like what you wear? I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look, except maybe Lily. Oh, don't worry. You you just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children would all be much happier if they'd only listen to the adults around them. I, okay. This is a very awkward conversation. Of course, how has it happened to make it anything awkward? That trimmer, did something happen on the lower floors? Um, what are we dealing with? Okay, it's a magical floating jellyfish. Wait. Does that look like... Okay, maybe it's just the way the head looks like a hat. Did you come from another world? Miss Loose Man, stand back. That thing's not right. You poor creature. Okay. Um, am I going to have to fight it? I'm trying to figure out what exactly that thing is. Um, it looks like a jellyfish, which has me thinking it's water type, but it's like flying. I don't know. I want to put Swagnamite up front. Let's do this. Just in case that's what it is. Have you ever seen a Pokemon like that? Uh, are we going to fight that, that thing? Hello? I guess we are. Alright. What are we dealing with? Oh. Uh, okay. Swagnamite? I'm not sure what that thing is. I'm gonna hit it with a 
Hmm. It could be a fairy. It could be a fairy. Oh. Okay. Try that again. If it's a fairy, I, I think steel should be effective against it. Are you kidding me? Stop it. <sighs> okay, there we go. Let's test this theory. Super effective. Okay, so it's weak to steal whatever it is. Now I'm going to try spark. Maybe I can get a paralyze off. Psy wave. I might need to throw down a potion on Swagnamite. Throw down a super potion. Oh, it fled. Well, that was pointless. Huh. Okay. The unidentified creature disappeared. So it's true. I still need that Pokemon. What? I need to get it back. This Lucibine, did you say something? Well, yeah. As I said earlier, Bond villain. <laughs> that creature we just saw was undoubtedly an ultra beast. An unknown being from another dimension that suddenly appears from the ultra wormhole. It looked like it was suffering. Like it pained it to be in this strange place. I can't bear to see that happen. I will save it, and I will... Okay, but that look is sending a mixed message. Thank you. Both of you. Thank you so much. Right. Wick, these two are still in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them to their next island. At once, ma'am. I will go to check that none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. And I need to speak with Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. And of course, I will have to start preparing the foundation for our newest and perhaps greatest duty yet. The protection of the Ultra Beasts. Okay. I'll see you two, the two of you two, Ula Ula Islandmen. Right. Um. Um. <clears throat> Okay, that's enough, Hal. Put the hand down. You're making me feel uncomfortable. I never thought I'd actually get to see the Ultra Wormhole in my life. We've got to tell Professor Burnett about this the next time we see her. I don't know if that what happened should be rightly described as an accident, but... I think it's probably best if you do so. Anyway, I was very glad to meet you both. Please take this to remember your visit. Okay. Yes, Big Malasad is awesome. Isn't it crazy how... What? <coughs> oh, it's him. How Malasadas taste even better when you eat them together with someone else. C calm down. You're making me nervous. Meals always taste better when you share them with the ones you love. And for you, John, a TM. Okay. Uh, probably give that to, um... I think it's going to be best given to Pokey, I think. I hope you both have wondrous adventures on your island challenge. We will. Thanks, Miss Wick. Alright, we good? My heart's still kind of racing, you know. The Ultra Wormhole is real, and Ultra Beasts are real, too. I don't care. <laughs> uh, you're making people wonder what's wrong with you. I'll bet we'll discover even more th new, th uh, new things on the next island. We're going to need all the energy we can get. Time to dig in. Uh... You want a Malasada? Ah, so good. Shoot, I already ate the whole thing. Right. 
<sighs> Sometimes these characters have a way of making me feel uncomfortable. Okay, where to? Okay, that's the next one. Ula Ula Island. All right. Well, as soon as we arrive, I guess I'll call the episode. Well, that's kind of cool. It's got kind of a Japanese thing to it. Land ahoy! All right, terra firma under our foot again. Ula Ula Island is like another totally different place than Mele Mele or Akala, huh? I've got an idea, John. Let's have a battle. Why? I want my Pokemon to get a deep breath of this fresh new air. Don't worry, I'll make sure both our teams are fighting for him first. Okay. Well, I was kind of hoping to, um call the episode, but okay. <laughs> Let's get this over with. I, ooh, is that thunder? I don't know if that's picking up the microphone, but there's thunder going on outside. Right, you. Alright, Swagnoite, you might not be the best option here. Oh! Oh, that's right! It's Electric Psychic here. Um. Alright. Don't know where to go from here. I think I want to bring Robin in. Yeah, let's do that. Or was... Oh! Wait. No. I had it wrong. <laughs> uh, Robin's not going to do good against... I, I was thinking Ghost was strong against Psychic, but I think it's the other way around. And here goes Robin. All right. Um, Mudweiser. That's what I should have gone with to begin with. All right. Bulldoze. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? You're kidding me. Alright. If Evan could get off a bite, that would be great. That psychic, that psychic is a pain. Oh, okay. Um... Right, hopefully Evan can tank another hit. Let's just heal him up just in case. Psychic. Hold on, hold on. Hit him with another bite. Probably should have gone with an ember or something. You're kidding me. <sighs> well, Swagnamite. Let's get swagging to my end, then we're going to throw down a um, revive if I have any. Do I have a revive? I do. Throw it down on Evan. Hopefully, swagging my can tank this hit. Alright. Okay. Do that. Just keep spamming Psychic over and over and over again. Alright. We'll, um... There goes Swagnamite.
I don't know why this Raichu speed set is so high. Electro Ball. Alright, we'll do this. I think we've lost this one. Maybe I just wasn't playing this smart. If I could just get rid of the right you, that'll be great. Okay, there we go. From here, I'm just going to throw down some potions and some um, revives. Brion. Um, keep battling. Let's throw down a revive. Throw that down on Swagnamite. It's going to use a Z power. <clears throat> at, at least we got uh, that right you out of the way. Swagnamite. Hit him with a spark. If I can get a Paralyze off, that would be great. Bubble Beam. Hopefully that's not too bad. Okay, there goes Swagnum. I think we've lost this one. Right, well, there goes that battle. <laughs> well, at least now I can finally call the episode. I hope. Unless it makes me black out. No, we good? We're good. Okay. Wow, that battle took my breath away. I can't breathe the fresh air that way. We're supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where, where was it? Melly Garden? Why did he want us to go to a garden? Guess we'll find out when we get there, right? Alright, well... You made it to Ula Ula Island now, big boy. Don't, don't call me that. This means a whole new island Pokedex. It's all up to you that what new Pokemon you'll uncover here. Alright. Is the team okay? Look. Everything's fine. That was a little bit of a disaster. Anyway, partners, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it for free, click like and subscribe. I much appreciate it. It helps me out. I will see you, partners, next time. Bye bye you <laughs>